Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a plan with me for you today. I'm using this eggnog mini kit from Caress Press, which I'm so excited to use because I absolutely love the colors and patterns. This kit also matches perfectly with the coffee washi that I pulled out to use because this week was finals week, so I definitely wanted to use those washi tapes. The pen gems that I'm using is also coffee themed, and I'm using the Pilot High Tech C refill inside it. So I'm going to quickly speed through me putting down the washi tape, glitter headers, and date covers. Since that's going to take a while, I'm going to take this moment to explain my planning style for those of you who are new to my channel. I plan each day out either the night before or the morning of. Because of that, I do end up filming a little section every day, and at the end of the week, I will put all the footage together to create my plan with me which is why you'll see me checking things off as the week progresses and stuff like that. I also record the voiceover at the end of the week after I put all of the footage together, so even though while I'm planning the events may have not necessarily happened yet, they have already happened when I record the voiceover, so the tenses are a little bit weird. Sometimes when I don't have any particular plans, then I will put them in after the event has already happened, like this week, the last three days, I did end up post planning or journaling, and I don't mind doing that at all because it kind of serves as a memory keeping tool for me. Anyway, moving back to the plan with me, I did end up putting all the glitter headers and date covers down. The glitter headers are from my shop, which will be reopening in the new year. Then I put down a full box for the sidebar that says Who Spiked the Eggnog, which I thought was super fun. I put down a washi strip and then a piece of coffee washi that I got at Hobby Lobby. It's rose gold foiled, and I love it. The white pen that I'm using is a Uniball Signo. I got it on jetpens.com. You can also get it on Amazon. The foiled washi from Hobby Lobby does come with a backing, I presume to protect the foil, which is slightly inconvenient, but it's not a big deal to cut that washi to size. So the X-Acto knife that I'm using is the Slice Precision Cutter. You can get it at Michael's. I got mine on Amazon. Next, I'm putting down a Goals Header and then a Weekly Tracker. Then I put down a Weekly Sidebar Tracker and then I put down another piece of Rose Gold Foiled Coffee Washi. This one is from Simply Gilded. It actually has tea on there as well and I absolutely love that one. It's beautiful. And then at the end, I put down a full box checklist, which I didn't end up using, but I was going to use it as a packing list, but things got really hectic after finals, and I didn't end up using it since I packed my planner. So the Pen Gems Pilot High Tech C refill works so nicely and smoothly on the Crest Press vinyl stickers. Love using that pen. I know the refill is sold out pretty often on the Pen Gems website. I know that they sell some refill inks on jetpens.com, so I'm going to order some eventually and try them out and let you guys know how that works out compared to the Pilot refill because I know that it sucks to not be able to get your hands on them. So the first thing that I put down on Monday was a coffee sticker from Thumbprints Co. It's a holiday red cup, which I love for Coffee Monday. And then I put down a voiceover sticker from Sweet Kawaii Design and a little package sticker from The Planner Junkie. Then I put down a full box in the center. And then in the evening, I put a checklist because I had quite a few things that I wanted to get done on that day. Now I'm just filling it out. I did end up switching out the laundry at the top with the laundry day sticker that came with the kit since I did several loads of laundry that day instead of just what I planned on doing. And then I put down the silhouette sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. and a planner sticker that came with the kit. Yeah, the Munchkin is from Once More With Love. Like I said, I end up switching it back out because I did do several loads of laundry, so I thought I'd consider it a laundry day. I wanted to layer the Munchkin on top, but it just didn't fit. Moving on to Tuesday, I put a full box down at the top. Here's an example where I'm crossing things off before I start planning the next day. Then I used another coffee washi tape that I had. It's one of my favorite coffee washi tapes and I always love using it. This is from Mind the Wrap on Etsy. Well, that's where I got it. I'm sure you can get it at other places as well. But I've shopped for Mind the Wrap several times and they have great service. Their shipping is fast and they have an amazing selection of washi. So I highly recommend their shop. 
Then I put down an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. I just had to design something for a collab that I was working on. And then at the end of the day, I put down another coffee washi strip and a study sticker that I made for myself. And then I also watched some Criminal Minds. So I used a flag with a foiled icon from Planning World on top of it. She didn't have a TV icon, so I just used the laptop one instead. Moving on to Wednesday. Wednesday was a special day because it was Josh and I's third year anniversary, which was really exciting. Unfortunately, we didn't really get to celebrate that day because we weren't together, like physically together, so it kind of sucked. And also I had to study for finals anyway, but I did end up putting a hat box down with a Kina Prince couple sticker, which is super cute. It's the Wednesday theme. Oops, looks like I got ahead of myself there. The first thing I put down was a full box in the center of the day because I was planning on studying most of the day. So I used the same emoji I used the day before with another study sticker. And then now I'm moving back up to the top and marking our anniversary. Underneath that, I didn't really have much going on, so I put some coffee washi. I thought it sufficed to mark when I had coffee instead of using a coffee sticker because the coffee washi is so cute and I hardly ever get to use it. I should use it more often. In the evening, I layered a backpack sticker from Sweet Quiet Design on top of a flag because I had a review session that I wanted to go to, or that I, yeah, wanted to go to. I guess I didn't need to go, but I messed up my handwriting because of the coil or just because I don't know what was going on, but I ended up putting a little box sticker from Mila Print Shop on top of it and rewriting it. Then I put down a Starbucks well, not a Starbucks sticker, but a coffee sticker to mark that I went to Starbucks. And then in the evening, I did some editing. So I used an edit sticker and a filming, a camcorder that came with a kit. That icon is so cute. I love Crest Press icons. Moving over to Thursday, I put down a to-do header with a bill due sticker because I had to pay my credit card bill. And I decided to use a I'm So Broke Wednesday sticker from Kina Prince because... That's exactly how I felt after all of my Black Friday and Cyber Monday purchases. Oh, I got ahead of myself again. So the first thing I put there was a full box in the evening, a study sticker, and a Kinachi girl who's like falling asleep studying because, like I said, I had finals to study for. And then I put down a print and cut sticker. The printer icon is from Fox and Cactus, and the cutter is from the Coffee Monsters Co. Sorry about my voice. After that, I put down another strip of coffee washi, and then I just put down one of the bigger versions of the emoji I used the previous two days because I was just going to be studying all day on the computer with the coffee next to me. Then on Friday, I put down a full box in the morning with a study munchkin. I would recommend using undo to peel up crest press vinyl stickers because they are very sticky on the back but I didn't have any as I was filming this, so I didn't use any until later on when I ordered some to my parents' home. I'm putting down two half boxes for the two finals I had on Friday, and I will fill those in in a bit. I just didn't have my test and final stickers at the moment. But then I put down a Me Time sticker with a Popcorn Tofu the Panda sticker from Stick With Me Shop, because in the evening I wanted to get some sleep and watch a little bit of TV before I had to get up and pack again. I'm putting down the weekend banner and then I'm just gonna quickly move over to the weekend. I put down that suitcase sticker that came with the kit, which is so cute. I wonder if she makes full sheets of those, but I had to pack and clean, I had to wake up super early, which is funny because I usually pull an all-nighter before my flights for some reason, but this day I was just way too tired after studying and finals and everything. Then I put down a flight tracker from Crest Press and then moving back over to Friday, I put down a deco sticker that I used for coffee. Josh picked me up and we got Chick-fil-A, so I used a french fry sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. I did a little bit of switching around after I planned out Saturday because I forgot to put something. But it was raining when I got home, so I used a raining munchkin because I got soaked. I used a home icon to mark that I finally went home for the holidays or arrived at home for the holidays. Then I used a flag with this nap unicorn from Frank Hartzio because I took a nap. I was super tired. Then after that, we went to Starbucks and Whole Foods and Target. It was great. 
and I realized that I forgot to put something there. I'm actually going to move it up later, right now actually, with the undo that finally arrived. I forgot to mark that we watched Captain America in the evening and I love Captain America. I love Chris Evans so of course I had to move everything up so that I could put down a glittery movie marquee for that. I just put the stickers on the coil to let it dry. I got that idea from Jenny from Stick With Me Shop. While everything was drying, I quickly moved over to the side. I used a red glittery movie marquee from Scribble Prints Co. to mark Captain America. And then I just put all the stickers that I put down previously down. I had to kind of do a little bit of adjusting since I had written on the paper, but that's fine. I just used a washi tape or a washi strip and everything else kind of just worked out. Then moving over to Sunday, I put down a munchkin in a bear onesie sleeping from Once More With Love because I slept in. And then I used a couple sticker with a coffee cup sticker from Thumbprints Co. because Josh and I went out for brunch slash lunch. If you guys saw my vlog, then you will have seen what we did on Sunday. Then I put down an event sticker with a foiled icon sticker from Planning World to mark where we ate. And then I put down a half box with a shopping sticker that came with a kit because we went shopping. I opened all of my Happy Mail that came in from Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So I used a Tofu the Panda Happy Mail sticker from Stick With Me Shop. And then in the evening I didn't have much going on so I put down my favorite full box from the kit which is the plaid one. Now I'm just filling everything out. The last thing that I'm going to do is put down the final stickers on Friday, so I ended up using two munchkins for that that look like they're taking tests, and then some final stickers that I made for myself. So that's about it for this plan with me. Let me show you what stickers I have left. I just wanted to take this moment to say happy holidays and merry Christmas. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. Thank you so much for all of your support this past year. I appreciate it so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.